from fantasy football seasons. Here's a few tight ends that have his bust this year. The first guy, Tyler Higby. Los Angeles Rams to Tyler Higby. He's been up and down over the last few years. And last year, coming off a solid year, actually. 72 catches, 620 receiving yards, and three touchdowns. But this Los Angeles Ram offense arguably got worse in this offseason on the offensive line as well. And we don't know what we're going to get from Matthew Stafford. So right now, Higby, he's going about 10th to the 12th round range in most fantasy leagues here. We know he's got some upside, but there's also a lot of ball games where he's just non-existent and he don't really put points on the board for fantasy owners as Tyler Higby. So right now, in that range, I'd rather have a Gerald Everett than him. I'd rather have a Dalton Kincaid, a Congo. I'd rather have Greg Dolchik. So players like that, I'd rather have than a Tyler Bigby in fantasy drafts this season. No doubt about it, there'll be some blow-up games for him. But there's also big games where we've seen it throughout his career where he just don't show up and do a lot. So even if and if Cooper Cup is out of the lineup again, they're going to roll towards Higby. So right now, while this Ram offense, we don't know what we're going to get from them this season. He's just a tight end I would avoid and he's a tight end I think will be a bust because I'm not expecting him to have over 70 catches and over 600 yards this season. I think he takes a step back. The next tight end is Darren Waller. Of the New York Giants. We know Wall is a great talent. We know he's one of the best tight ends in the league, but health is a big concern. And now going to a Giant team where they run the football a lot over the last few years with Saquon Barkley and Daniel Jones last season running the football over 100 times. So last year in a short injury season here, Waller for the Raiders, 28 catches, 388 receiving yards and three touchdowns. And that goes to a Giant team where, yes, they don't really have a true number one wide receiver where Waller could be like a Travis Kelsey in terms of the tight end being the number one target in the passing game. But like I said, Saquon Barkley, he's going to get 50, 60 catches. He's going to run the ball 250 to 300 times minimum. And Daniel Jones, I believe he's still going to run the football at least 70, 80 times this year. Well, I think Jones, the running will peel back a little bit because they did add some players here. Cole Beasley, Paris Campbell, higher than the NFL draft. But Darren Waller, a lot of injuries throughout his career. New playbook. And this Giant team still being a run-first team for the most part with the offense built around Saquon Barkley. I don't think Darren Waller is going to have a good year this season. And he's going right now, fifth to sixth round. So I think he's going to be a bust. I'd rather have tight ends like a George Kittle. I'd rather have Dallas Goddard. I'd rather have a path for your move this season. Even Evan Ingram, I think, is in the conversation as well. Him or Waller. So right now, with those guys mentioned, I think Darren Waller is going to be a bust because of his ADP. And just the way, obviously, this giant offense has ran over the last few seasons. The next tight end is Kyle Pitts of the Atlanta Falcons. I mentioned this with Drake London that I don't know if Ritter's going to spread the ball out. And all these guys are going to have fantasy value. So Kyle Pitts, the last couple years, he's been a high draft pick. Third or fourth round of most fantasy drafts. And now he's going about sixth or seventh round in most fantasy drafts. But he's not a tight end I could trust. He's been banged up. He was injured last year. Only 28 catches, 356 receiving yards, and two touchdowns. And I'd rather have tight ends like a Goddard over him. Ingram, Pat Fiumut, Greg Dolchik. Guys like that, I'd rather have than a Kyle Pitts. And I could wait a few more rounds to get them on my fantasy team. Because like I said, this Falcon team's a run first team like the Giants. You got B. John Robinson for a reason where he's going to get at least 18 to 25 touches per game. The football don't matter. And I just don't think Kyle Pitts is going to do it. I know he had a great college career, no doubt about it. But so far in the two first years of his NFL career, there's nothing that really stands out for me with Kyle Pitts besides that he lines up on the outside. And I know he hasn't had great quarterbacks. But that's not going to fix itself this season as well, where they're going into the year with an unknown and not really a high-touted quarterback. So right now, I think he'll be a bust in his ADP as Pitts. And just going off the track record the last couple years, the next tight end is David Njoku of the Cleveland Browns. So right now, this Brown team, they're locked and loaded, ready to go into the end. Right now, Njoku, he's going to be the fifth or sixth option on this offense, obviously. You got Nick Chubb, you got Watson, who's going to run the football a decent amount for himself. You got Cooper, you got Elijah Moore, you got Donovan People Jones, who had a nice standout year last year out of nowhere for this Brown team. So the Joku, there'll be some weeks where he has blow up weeks, no doubt about it. 15, 18 fantasy points. And then there's some weeks where you're only gonna get three to five fantasy points. So right now he's a tight end going about ninth to tenth round in most fantasy drafts at latest years, David the Joku. But a guy like Gerald Everett, I'd rather have a Pat Fiumu, Devin Ingram in that range. 
even a Dalton Kincaid, I think, might have more upside than a Joku this season because that offense is just throwing the football all over the yard over there in Buffalo. So right now, well, he's going pretty early at the tight end position for the most part. He's David the Joker. And being the fourth or fifth option at minimum for this offense, he's not really a tight end that I believe in this season that's going to have another monster year. And not really a tight end I would break the bank and pick early. I know last year, 58 catches, 628 receiving yards and four touchdowns. But I just don't think it happens once again this year for the Joker. And I think he takes a step back and I think he's a tight end that's a bust and the fifth and final tight end I have as a bust this season. Dalton Schultz of the Houston Texans. I think Schultz, he was a product of the Dallas Cowboy offense last season. And he did have some key drops in that playoff game versus the 49ers. But anyway, he finished the year 57 catches, 577 receiving yards, and five touchdowns on eight targets. So right now he goes to a situation over there in Houston where it looks like the rookie quarterback C.J. Stroud is going to start the season. I know there's not a lot of weapons over there in Houston where the ball is going to spread. And that's another thing. Dalton Schultz, he had a lot of good weapons on that Cowboy offense where teams had to prepare for that than Dalton Schultz. Ezekiel Elliott last season, a Pollard. C. went Michael got to an extent. And Schultz, he had a lot of single coverage. And he was a product of the system. We know Dak Prescott, since his rookie year, he always liked the tight end. Starting with Jason Witten, Blake Jarwin for a little bit. And then Dalton Schultz over the last few seasons. So with him not being in Dallas and being part of a good tight end system and also him being going to a Houston Texan team that's young and they're going to make a lot of mistakes and lose a lot of ball games most likely. I don't like Dalton Schultz right now as a 10th or 12th round. And there's tight ends I'd rather have than him. Even his former teammate Jake Ferguson I think could have a better year. I like Dalton Kincaid better than him in that range. Cole Komet, Gerald Everett. And right now I think he's a bust at tight end this season. I don't think he matches his numbers from last year. So that's a few tight ends have his bust here entering the 2023 fantasy football season.